Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to go through product options in WooCommerce. You can see these on my screen now and just briefly to cover what we're going to talk about is the product listing, so the way they're displayed, various product data and some inventory options as well. So the first array of options we have here are mostly due to the listing of the actual product itself. Now, the first one we see is the product archive slash shop page which is just what the base page of the shop will be. Now at the default, it's shop. And if we just go over here, you can see uh, if you check that link down the bottom left, you can see it goes to the domain name slash shop. That's where we can find all of our products. That's the default, that's what you'll probably use anyway. But of course you can choose to change this to another page that you may have in your WordPress installation, the cart, the checkout, or the my account page. Uh, but as I mentioned, you know, most people are just going to use the default option of shop. But you can choose to alter that page anyway. Uh, by default, it will show products. You can choose to show subcategories or indeed both, uh, either or may be useful for you, of course. And then we just have the default category display. So similarly to the shop page display, you've got the choice to show products, subcategories, or both. And of course, using the default of show products is most likely what you're going to be using. Next, we just get down to how the products are sorted on your website. Now the default, as you can see, is custom ordering plus name. You can change it to by popularity rating, most recent, and price as well. Uh, take your pick, whatever you'd like. We'll just put it on average rating for the moment. And then we just get to choose the behavior when a user adds an item to their cart. Now, as you can see here, redirect to the cart page after successful addition is not turned on but enable Ajax add to cart buttons on archives is. And that's probably the best setting that you can have it on. If you turn on this, it means that when someone adds something to their cart, they're going to be redirected to the cart page after that happens. And it could be quite annoying, you know, if there's a few things I want to buy or they just want to keep looking, then it's going to be super annoying for them. So I don't recommend turning that on. Uh, but definitely leave enable Ajax add to cart buttons on archives. That means that when someone is browsing through a category, uh, for instance, uh, of a product, they can see things they like and just add them as they see fit. Now we just get down to the product data. Uh, you can see the defaults here are for weights and dimensions. Uh, you can change it from kilograms to you know, pounds if that's your preferred uh, measurement and similarly from you know, centimeters to inches or even yards, depending on what products you have. And then just below we see product ratings. Uh, these are all pretty good to go at the defaults. You know, enable ratings on reviews. You definitely want that. Ratings are required to leave a review. Also super cool. And show verified owner label for customer reviews. There's that fourth option there though, of course. Uh, only allow reviews from verified owners. That might be super useful. Uh, you know, if someone for some reason gets a vendetta against you and wants to go and rate all of your products really, really lowly, uh, they can do that even if they haven't purchased it. So. By checking that, only people who have bought products can review those actual products. And just below this, we have the product image sizes. So basically, when you create a product, the catalog, single product, and thumbnail images are created. So from this section, what you can do is alter the dimensions uh, that you allow, and if you want to hard crop those images. Hard cropping means that they will be forced into those dimensions. So it's really up to you how you want to manage that there. Now we get down to the downloadable products area. So if you're selling digital goods, maybe you're selling WordPress themes, for instance, or you know, might be selling an ebook or music or you know, something to that effect, this will dictate how the actual user receives those files. So the default is forced downloads. That means that the files are forced to be downloaded by a simple PHP script. The files shouldn't be accessible to anyone except purchases and any direct links to that are actually hidden. The other option we have is XXL redirect and XSend file. Now this is similar to the forced method but it has better performance and greater support for larger files. It will require that your hosting provider supports those methods. So it's advisable that you check with them first before setting that or at least setting it and then trying to you know make a purchase yourself just to make sure it works. Finally, we have redirect only. This means the download link simply links the user to the file and the files won't be protected from outside access. So best not to use redirect only. The XXL redirect is only applicable if your server supports it. So if you're not sure, you don't want to think about it too much, it's probably best just to leave it on forced downloads. And just below this, we have access restrictions to downloadable products. What you can do is turn on downloads require login, uh, so that if someone wants to download their product, they must be logged in. Of course, this doesn't apply to guest purchases because not everyone will indeed want to create an account. 
and then just below this is to grant access to the downloadable product after payment. So this would be when the orders are processing rather than completed and it's on by default, it's reasonably safe to leave it on. And of course, when you have completed making changes here, hit save. But that's all that we're going to cover in this video. We've covered product listing, product data, some details on the images and the sizes thereof, and how users will be able to access and download uh, downloadable purchases. So if you have any questions about what we've covered, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more.